Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Okay, we're going to tie a, an interesting style of mayfly. It's called a wally wing, and um, you'll see different types of patterns out there tied with it with different body materials and whether they have hackle or not. Uh, so this is uh, just a little variation of that with uh, calabatus uh, in mind. So we're going to start off and attach our thread right at the thorax where the wing is going to be tied in. And then the wing is really what makes this pattern fairly unique. It's, 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 a, it's a really cool style of tying in a wing. And so we're going to start off with some teal flank from Nature Spirit. And this is a, a heron gray. These calabatus have a speckled gray and white wing. So this um, heron gray dyed teal flank works great for that. You could also use mallard or just natural teal. So we're going to grab this feather and strip the fluff pieces off. Now what we're going to do is we need to have uh, enough fibers on the stem to equal the hook shank length. And so in order to get that I just lay this uh, stem, the fiber, the feather up on top of that and I kind of eyeball the length that I need and then I will grab at where that ends towards the eye of the hook and then just preen these fibers back and so just about like that so you can kind of see the the length there and so I'm going to preen these back and that creates a, a dividing point that we're going to use to tie in. So you can do this a couple different ways. Um, you'll notice that the feather does have a natural curvature. And so regardless of how we tie this in, what we want to make sure is that we have the, the fibers that are going to peel back to form the wing. Then you'll also notice that the fibers have a little bit of a sweep to them like that and so we want to fold these and kind of um, as we sweep them back we're going to fold them up and exaggerate that little sweep like so So that in the end, I've got all these fibers preened back, folded up like that, and that the tip is going to be tilting down when I go to tie this in. And so again, we want to measure the hook shank length to the tie-in point, which is going to be about right there. And you, you want to tie this in a couple, three uh, eye um, lengths back from the eye of the hook and you'll do a pinch wrap. So what that means is you you take your material, you come down right on top of where the uh, thread is and then while you pinch the material you pass your thread through your fingers um, not very tightly and then the next wrap you come down and you kind of pull that down as you pinch and then before I let go I like to um, even out the the wings here on top and then we'll just continue back a few wraps okay and once that's tied off we'll just come in here at an angle and trim the excess and that will create a nice little taper uh, leading down into the tail and speaking of tail fibers, we're going to grab some Coque de Leon. Just, you can use tailing fibers or just some uh, a rooster cape. And I usually get about five to six fibers, and we're going to measure out a little bit more than the body length. These calabatus have uh, long tails. And we'll tie those in right on top.
And then one little trick, I'll bring my finger up under here and spread those tail fibers and roughly split them in half, three and three or two and three, however it works out. And then just by moving these around with your fingers, you can get them to set pretty good. And then on the excess, we're just gonna come up here and have that kind of match right where my wing fibers ended. And that helps to just create the taper. Now I'm gonna grab some of these wild, these barred wild turkey biots from Nature Spirit. These things are awesome. So they're dyed, but they all, they have the natural barring on them. And what you'll get with the, uh, the fibers is that when you wrap these on along the hook, it, it's gonna create a natural segmentation. So they're great for, for mayfly bodies. Great for midge bodies. Okay, if you take your bite and you hold it up, you'll see that there's a little notch and indentation. That side here is going to have some webby material on it. So what I like to do is just come in and use my scissors and trim that leading edge of webbiness off. And usually you can just set your scissors in there and give it a little cut and it'll just tear right off. And what that leaves us then is the very distinct ridged edge, which we'll tie in now. So I'll give it a tie in point right there by my uh, tail fibers. And again, I wanna keep that ridged edge on the back, so the, the part that I cut is going to be going forward. And then I'll just build up the taper on this. I want to keep it pretty even. Now I'm going to grab some hackle pliers. Hackle pliers allow me to, to uh, absorb a little bit of the the uh, shock when I'm going to wrap this. So I find I do a little better with hackle, pli hackle pliers. And then you just want to make sure that you have that ridge uh, along the back edge as you wrap. And notice as I wrap that that uh, segmentation is going to appear on the biot and the ridge will be pronounced. So you've got some lighter gray and some darker gray. You got the ridge. And so that uh, is very, very close to what the actual body looks like of these uh, Calabatus adults. And I go right up be behind the wing. And you want to be careful with the thread as you wrap this because it could tear and, and it may come undone a little. So you want to give a, a couple of good tight wraps and then you move forward towards the wing. And as you do that, you can just kind of twist off this and, and uh, you're good to go. So there's the body, pretty simple. And what we're gonna do now is add in a little dubbing and that will kind of help with our wing propping. And now you'll notice there, well, it's kind of hard to see, but the wing is all bunched up, which is fine because once we split this out, the wings will spread out a little bit and be more natural shape. But looking at it, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't think that that's gonna be a couple of nice wings. So in order to uh, set the thorax, the base of the thorax, I'm gonna get some Nature Spirit Beaver Dry Fly Dubbing in a natural light gray. And this is gonna be very, very little. Again, it's just a, enough to get the, the wing to prop and kind of a base for the CDC we're gonna throw in there. So just barely enough to dirty the thread. Cause this will all be mostly covered up with our CDC. So a couple of wraps behind and then a couple immediately in front. Well, more than a couple. But you see there, it's just kind of creating a little prop. And then I'm gonna move back behind the wing. And this is where we're gonna put in our CDC. So this whole pattern here is natural. Going along with that theme, 
We're gonna use some Polish CDC. Now this stuff, I know it's hard to see. Now well, let's see, turn around like that. You can see how these the uh, stems are nice and lined up. These are all uniform in length and for the most part density. So this is good stuff. Uh, we sell this on the website. So I'm gonna grab two pieces of that. And again, they're very uniform in size and density. I'm gonna hold the tips and preen out the fibers at 90 degree angles to the stems like that. And now I'm gonna grab my Petagene uh, magic tool. This is the, the table, the, the micro set. And uh, what you'll do is I'm just gonna seat these down in there. It's easier to do this on the table and I'm too lazy to change the camera angle. So you're gonna have to deal with it. So anyway, we've got the CDC now, both fibers, both stems sitting in. And I'm gonna grab my fancy Petagene scissors and just trim off the edges. So there we go. And now we take the clip and hold the table just right. Even with the clip, let go. And now you see I've got those lined up like that. And now I can take those long bladed scissors and this is where those come in handy is that I can use that to trim off that stem in one, one chomp. So there we've got nice little alignment of a few CDC fibers. And I'll just set that there and I'm gonna grab my Stonfo Elite Rotodubbing Twister. And this one I use over the shepherd hook style because this one is nice because when you pull down on it, it will uh, put tension in that loop that we're gonna create here in a second, which is important with the CDC and with using the clip. So that's why when you use the clip, this is the one I always use. It's a little bit spendy, but well worth it. So I'm gonna create a dubbing loop that's a little bit longer, or loops, a little bit longer than what that clip width is. And then we just come in front of it, and then ultimately land with my thread in front of the wing. Now, being careful not to lose your CDC, I insert my clip inside of that loop. And now I'm gonna pull down on the twister and I'm going to very gently slide the clip out and the thread will latch down onto the CDC there. And now it's got it and I can give it a couple of twists like so. And so now we've got our nice little dubbing loop basically of CDC. The other nice thing about these rotodubbing twisters is that they'll turn perpendicular so that you can very easily wrap without the dubbing loop popping out. So what I'll do here is I'm going to go, once I get down to my CDC uh, loop, a couple of wraps behind, and now I'm gonna go a couple of wraps right in front of that wing. You really only need two. And then I will just tie that off. Again, two in front, two in back. And then come in here and make sure I've got all the stragglers out of the way and clean up my head and whip finish. Okay, now before I mess with the wing, I'm gonna come in here and do some trimming on the CDC. I usually like the bottom to be flush. And then you can kind of 
pull the CDC up and away from the body and then come in here and trim any of the, the ones that are going crazy on us. The main point of the CDC here really is just to, to basically be like a hackle. And um, this will actually float the fly very nicely. So now the last little step here is we're just going to take our uh, wing and it's tough to show you this because I'm going to block the camera, but you're going to take one or two fibers from each side. And as you pull it, you may get two or three fibers, but those will actually just pull off. And the one is going to pull all the way down and you'll be left with a nice looking wing. And then you do that on the other side. And then you come in here and trim the center piece. And then these little remnants right at the top. Make sure you don't trim into the wing. So what you can do is you can you basically just kind of position these wings. If you if you kind of push down on them that that will help spread those fibers out and so you can kind of get the the wings to come and take full full shape like that. Because when you've tied them in they'll, they're a little pinched and, and uh, misshapen. So you, you kind of have to work with them a little bit to get them to open up like that. But once you do, then you see that awesome profile. Um, for Calabatus, that's a, that's a super sweet speckling on the wings. So, but again, you could use these for almost any style um, or you can use them for any Mayfly. This is a great style to be used for PMDs, Calabatus, Betis, even Drakes. Uh, so they're, it's a great pattern, not, not too hard to tie, and they're actually pretty fun.